So finally, some cool customizations have been added in this Pixel Room. The name, the custom room which we are talking about in this video is Pixel Plus UI, one of my favorite rooms actually. The version is 5.1 which we are talking about in this video. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till then I'm going to share with you some new changes which are included and why this room is actually super good right now. The version is 5.1 of course which I'm using here. The UI is a bit changed and with the previous Android 13 update, they've already included a lot of features. But with this new update there are tons of new changes and some new visible changes which i'll talk about in this video are super good and you definitely will love it the first of all the biggest change which we found here is in the quick settings panel if you have ever used fluid ui i made a video on fluid ui some time ago the quick settings panel from that fluid ui is now back with this pixel plus ui in the android 12.1 last update this thing was included but with android 13 the thing was not there as expectedly but now now, yes, with Android 13's Android Android 13 Pixel Plus UI 5.1 update, this thing has been included. We have this fluid UI style quick settings panel. In my honest opinion, I think so. This is good also. That is the light quick settings panel. So if you're using light mode, you'll see the light quick settings panel. If you use the dark mode, you'll see the dark quick settings panel. And according to me, I just actually love this thing. If you move on to the quick settings panel customizations, of course, you have the option to switch to fluid UI quick settings style. And we also have background transparency, which is actually super good. So if you need blur in quick settings panel, you can can simply use this thing by using this slider for example if i try to use 50 percent okay this is how the ui is looking like so if you want to enable blur on your device you can by the way if your device has some issues while using blur you can simply disable this thing it's not necessary to enable we also have the data usage option the data usage summary is now available in quick settings panel footer so if, if this is also one of the useful things for you it's now included if I move on to some other things, for example, the face unlock, which is one of the main highlights with the November security patch and most of the custom rooms have already adapted this. So as Pixel Plus UI, so we have face unlock included. Face unlock plays an important role in some cases. If you use face unlock on a device, then you will love Pixel Plus UI's this update. For me, I most probably not use this thing one more thing which we found here is in the sound and vibration we have the per app volume control other than else things are basically same but per app volume control is actually one of the most useful things if you use any custom even if you're using stock one for me 99.9% .9 of the cases i will definitely use this thing we also have some battery styles options available which are actually useful for example you have the battery styles we have the option for battery style landscape we have portrait we have other customizations option with battery landscape landscape r l landscape r style one style two style a style b yes there are many options which actually leads to maybe customizations it should not be considered as a feature but if you love customizations i think so you will love this thing other than else one more thing which i found here is in the screenshot ui so whenever you take screenshot you will see the google lens integration is there so if google lens is installed you'll be able to search that thing in google lens very easily you also have the option to enter this title for example let me try to add this this text you can use this thing and this is actually looking good the settings ui is far more better than some other custom homes and yes this is a very good thing System navigation includes a very, very useful feature for me at least. If I move to gesture navigation, space under the keyboard, which includes the options named as narrow, named as key, named as hidden and named as default. These options are actually quite good and I always use this thing. What this feature is all about, you will not be able to see that IME button space and most of the customers are not having this feature. Most of the customers are having this feature and Pixel, Pixel Plus UI is having this one. For me, it's super good. By the way, one thing which I just wanted to look at is the Volti and Vo Wi-Fi icons and uh, unfortunately, it's not there. Most likely in the next update, they will include or maybe not. Of course, that's not a major thing to think about, but it's all up to you. If you want to use that option, you can use any other custom room. But other than else, this is all about today's short and simple video. This is all about Pixel Plus UI latest update. Pixel Plus UI 
version 5.1 based on android 13 with november security patch this is all about it this is all thanks for watching link is available in the description i hope you like this video if you like this video don't forget to like and share this and yes i will see you in the next one until then goodbye